first of all, I'm going to learn how to speak. Do I ever learn how to speak? Jay, you are 30 years old and still can't see. You could start over. Hey everybody, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. I am your girl, Jay Ross, back with another video. And as you guys can tell by the title down below, I'm going to be continuing with the Glam Light Happy Hour. And this time, I'm going to be using the wine palette. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about on the continuation of this collection that I've been using, first of all, you must not have watched my first video with the Dirty Martini with a collaboration with the Swatch Queen, Jacqueline tries it. I mean, you, you just must not have watched because you're not subscribed. I'm just saying that may or may not be a hint to subscribe, especially with the holiday season coming up. You know your girl got you. So I'm just saying you might wanna subscribe and follow me on Instagram, period. Decided to continue on with doing this collection. I wanted to make sure I got these palettes out before the end of the year. And um, I was also looking through my Instagram and realizing that I have done a lot of green and blue looks lately. And I was just like, you haven't done a purple look in like a minute. It's like April, May, June. I don't know, but it's been a while. And I remember, because it's also been a while since I've asked you guys, which palette from this Happy Hour collection you guys would like to see me use next. And I'm pretty sure the one, one, one say that 12 times fast i can't even say it one time fast i'm going to go ahead and get into it um same type of beautiful packaging as the dirty martini you have this beautiful luxe bottle that comes with a gold label all that good stuff um and for those of you who are wondering this is not real alcohol this is makeup okay this is makeup mom i'm talking to you this is makeup it's an eyeshadow palette but anyway let's go ahead and get this open and then yeah we can create a look with this for sure because i still don't know where i'm going with this look but i never know with anything i actually forgot what this palette looked like all right so now that the gold label is off i'm going to open up the bottle and this is what the palette looks like something that jacqueline tries it mentioned in her video um that i noticed but i didn't mention We're just gonna put that down, act like nothing just happened. But something that she mentioned that I didn't notice is, I mean, I noticed, but I didn't say it. It's weird that the palette like display is like this and even on the back it's like this, but when you open up the palette, which this is my first time opening up the palette, you turn and the sh you have to turn the shades this way. So I feel like they should have just put the names underneath and just left the palette like this since like the display is like this. But anywho, this is how the palette looks. This is a mirror included palette, of course. And then you have the little, you know, grapes on the corner for the detail. When I first saw the palette, I was like, Dirty Martini was definitely selling me the most. And like this one, I think was the second or maybe the chocolate mark. No, I think this was the second one to be shown. And I was like, okay, it's, it's cute. You know, I wasn't really thrilled about this palette. Like it wasn't my favorite and it wasn't my first choice for sure. But looking at it, it's, it's cute. It's, it's cute. I do like it. I do love, and I've said this many times every time I use Glam Light palettes, pretty sure I always say it. Their shimmer formulas, like the dual chrome, multi-chrome, flexing on them type. <laughs> flexing on them? Um, the shades that they incorporate in their like shimmer metallic formulas are just absolutely beautiful. They're not pressed glitters whatsoever. So if you're always scared of, does Glam Light include? At least not with these. I don't know if any of the palettes that I have have pressed glitters from Glam Light. So, but their formulas are absolutely beautiful and I'm pretty sure this palette will be no different, but let's go ahead and get into this because me and dropping stuff. First of all, I'm recording this early in the morning. So my body is just like, we not awake yet. And clearly it's showing. And I did break it. God dang, I broke a shape. That was nice. Um, Yeah, I just broke the shape Pinot Noir. And I also just messed up the mirror. But, and I just actually made it worse. So we just go ignore the fact that Jay just completely screwed this whole palette up. And we, we, we just gonna look at 
the fact that I just broke Pinot Noir, which is over here, so. I'm just gonna create a look. I'm gonna have a little swatch palette shade pop up on one of these sides, and y'all can see what shade I'm using, the name or something's gonna pop up because me holding up this palette a few more times may not happen. A few moments later. All right, so, so far this is the look right now with four eyeshadows on my eye. And you guys may think I'm crazy, but once I get this blend right on this eye, I kind of like this matte eye look. Like you can definitely tell I have four shades on my eyes. Like they don't all look the same once you put them on your eyes, which is awesome because sometimes shades may look different and variant. Um, if in like the palette, but then when you put them in your eyes, they kind of look alike, but no, I you seriously can see the four different shades on my eyes, and that's pretty awesome. So, I mean, it's glam light, so you know, I, I'm, I'm not let down. I'm not let down whatsoever. I just gotta get this blend right on this eye. Right now, I'm feeling this matte look. We'll see what happens when I put a, you know, in a corner, we'll figure it out. You know, I just, just I'm gonna get my base together, we're gonna come back. I'm gonna show you guys what I do for my lower lash line, and then I'll wrap up my overall thoughts about this palette. So, me and my hands today don't don't come for me. Okay, just don't. I told you it's too early for this. 8:01 p.m. So clearly, this is a different outfit because let's just be real. We already know that technology hates your girl, but. I didn't want to leave this video, but I'll give you my final thoughts. As I was trying to do my overall base face, all that good stuff, all the shimmer and whatnot, let you guys know what I use on my lower lash line, all that good stuff, the camera cut off. So yeah, I'm here now. Uh, actually 12 plus hours after I originally put this face on. So hence why my face may look a little bit different. But you guys still see the eye look popping though, right? You still see the eye look popping. What can I say about this palette that isn't obvious about how I feel about Glam Light in general? There is nothing, okay? There is nothing that shocks me about Glam Light's products. Um, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. Like, there's nothing new there. It's just that they just just keep hitting one after one after one. Like, they're, they're literally... They, the palettes that I personally bought from Glam Light, they have not missed for me. For my lower lash line, I took this shade called Merlot um, on the outer part. So it was on the outer part. Hopefully you guys still saw it when it was fresh. Cabernet Sauvignon. Is that how you pronounce it? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. If y'all wine connoisseurs, you know what I'm trying to say. Cap Cabernet Sauvignon. I think that's how you pronounce it. So that is what's on the inner part of it. And then for the inner, inner corner, I took Sparkling is on top, Napa was on first. But anywho, so yeah, this is the palette once again. You can barely tell that I used it because I, you don't need to dig into these palettes. For me, for my opinion, you never have to do that. The first shade that I took, which was Vintage, I swear I could have spread that on both eyes with just one dip. Like it, so pigmented. I love how it pops up and like I said earlier, the fact that all eight shades look individually separate on my eye. Like they blend very well together, but they aren't blended together. Like they look like separate colors and I love that. Like you can see the separate colors on my eyes when I first put it on. It may look more blended now, first of all, because your girl got sleepy halfway through the day, so I rubbed my eyes. Um, my allergies are being stupid, so my inner corner just kept watering up and sprinkling little tears on my face. So that's why I had to reapply the shimmer. So there's that. But I'm not saying anything negative about this actual palette. I'm just talking negative about how my face was being trifling. But it's 12 hours later, so it is what it is. Also, that's how you know it's 12 hours later. Um, your girl was about three inches from snatching this wig off. Like I. I wiped the glue off of this wig, so if you see it sliding, 
Watch your mouth in the comments. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Even though I wasn't excited about this palette using it, it is an extremely amazing purple palette. So if you love purples, this is a great purple palette. It has all the purples you need. Second of all, you know I'm vacillating here. So that's all of my thoughts on this palette. Let me know what you guys think of the overall look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys like seeing me do tutorials. If you guys like me to actually talk through my tutorials, let me know how you feel about that as well. If you guys like when I'm more talky, chatty to you guys, let me know that too. Or would you just have me keep doing like the makeup and chill type where I just show you what I'm using and then just you know, fast forward through a look. And I hope you guys are staying safe, happy, healthy, and blessed as always. Please stay safe, happy, healthy, and blessed. I'm your girl, Jay Ross. I'm probably the most randomest person that you've ever seen on YouTube. But y'all love me though, right? That's why we're almost at 500 subscribers. And as always, I will catch you guys in my next one.